Hey everybody, welcome to the Joe Rockstar channel and this is going to be the series on do-it-yourself maintenance for your 500 EXC. Part 1 of the series is removing the fuel tank. Removing the fuel tank will give you access to a lot of parts that are tight quarters if you're trying to work on them without taking it off. Step one is to remove the seat. Locate the eight millimeter bolt underneath the rear fender. This may take a few turns, it's kind of a long bolt. Once you get it out, make sure you put it somewhere where you're gonna remember. If you have trouble with remembering what bolts or what parts go where, what I like to do is use Ziploc bags and label them. Once you've removed the bolt, lift the rear of the seat and then pull it towards the rear of the bike and the seat should come right off. The next step is to remove the fuel tank. First, we'll disconnect the power to the fuel pump. This can be done by lifting on the tab and pulling the connector up. It might be a little difficult at first, but it should come right off. Locate the 8mm bolt that attaches the fuel tank to the frame. Using your 8mm socket, remove the bolt. You might get a rubber washer that comes out with it or that rubber washer might stay inside the tank. Either way, just be sure not to lose it. Next we need to remove the bolt that holds the radiator shrouds onto the radiator. It's 8mm as well. Loosen it up a few turns and then you can use your fingers to do the rest. On the opposite side, the bolt that holds the radiator shroud is also holding on your horn. Go ahead and remove this bolt and the horn will hang freely. Once those bolts are removed, you need to come down to the fuel line. Now I'm using the 90 degree fitting that I got from Best Dual Sport Bikes. Just a few inches from the gas tank you'll find the fuel line connector. There's a simple silver button that you can push in and it will allow the fuel line to be disconnected. Once you do a little gas will spill out. You can easily wipe that up with a rag. Your bike should have come with a little kit to seal the line so that when you disconnect the fuel tank you can keep any dirt or anything from getting into the uh, fuel lines. Uh, you'll have this little cap that you can put over the fuel filter end. The other piece is the plug that goes into the end of the fuel line that goes into your gas tank. Just push it in until you hear an audible click. It may take a little force. Now that we have the fuel line disconnected and all the bolts and all the bolts are removed, we can go ahead and remove the gas cap vent tube and then pulling the shrouds outward and lifting the tank up. The tank should come off. You may have to maneuver this a little bit, but it shouldn't be too hard. And there you have it. The fuel tank is removed. So that's all we have for part one. Just getting the fuel tank off. Now you've exposed a lot of the parts of the bike that you need to get to to do some of the projects like removing all the emissions uh, stuff that's put on the bike. I'm not going to do a video on how to remove the uh, emission stuff. If you'd like a really good video to see how to remove the emissions, go to my sponsor's website, bestdualsportbikes.com. I'll throw a link up here. All right, well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part. The next part's going to be about disconnecting the air boot and lifting your subframe so that you can get to your throttle body. Uh, this is going to be an essential part if you plan on work cleaning your fuel injector or if you want to change the fuel rail to the new best dual sport bikes one anyways thanks for watching